All right, welcome back. We are celebrating Pride Month all June. We're joined this morning by Shamarian Oggs, who's representing his community as the first black queer model to ever be signed here in El Paso. That's so cool. That is awesome. Thank you so much mm. for joining us this morning, Shamaria. No, thank you guys for having me. Absolutely. First of all, congratulations, yes, for, congratulations for getting signed. Thank you. I want to know more about how you started in the fashion industry. I started in the fashion industry when I was about 15 years old. You know, I was working a nine to five like most kids. Mm. And I kind of quickly realized that I wanted something more for myself. And you know, what's better than to do fashion? Than expressing <laughs> yourself awesome. through fashion. You know, yes. what does it feel like to be the first black queer model? I mean, it, it's got to bring a lot of emotions, but you also got to be proud, I would think, right? Yes, I'm most definitely proud. I think right now it's more of like a surreal situation. Mm. It's like, wow, like, I'm the first ever black <laughs> queer model to ever be signed in El Paso. It's just like, it's mind blowing. That's awesome. And what do you think that means uh, to the queer community here? Or maybe to someone like you who can look up to you now? Mm. It's most definitely like, um, I'm happy that I'm able to kind of like break down these barriers mm. for other people to walk through that look like me. And so that they can come and dominate too. You know, there, there's a lot of talk about representation mm -hmm. and what that means, especially for people that, you know, are out in the public eye like yourself. What does that word mean to you, especially now that you have almost become a face of representation for people that are just like you? It's like words I can't even explain. Um, like I said, it's, it's just surreal. Like, I'm yeah. kind of having a very, like, euphoric moment with it all. Like, it's, it's like I'm just taking it in and just, you know, making sure that I am the representation that the LGBTQIA plus mm -hmm. community needs. And you have no problem being yourself, of course. Absolutely. I, I, you Love it's your all outfit. Over. Yes. yes. We a moment for the about. outfit, please. Okay, Absolutely. thank yes. you. Please, so we'll awesome. get a nice zoom out here so we can uh, see what's going on. Uh-oh. He's modeling for uh -oh. us here. Watch out for the <laughs> Watch out for the mic, okay, but we needed so a moment for the outfit. I love that we're all kind of coordinating. We decided to get the, the vibe going today. If you've noticed my wonderful shoes, it is a part of a, the recent project that you're working yes. on. Yes. Tell us all about it. Okay, so yes, I am about to creative direct my first ever denim, a Death by Denim fashion show, October 26, wow. 2024, wow. with as well as with my creative director, Junks. And yes, um, I'm just happy for you guys to see the project that we're gonna be coming out with, and yeah. What is it about denim that really catches your eye? What is it about denim that you like working with or, or that you want to show off with? I feel like denim goes with everything. I feel like it's <laughs> just, you know, it's, you can put it with anything. That's it's true. really just like a, it's, it's really a fashion statement. It's eternal. I yes. love I love my new Crocs. I have to show them off. They're awesome. And we're all wearing kind of denim today. So like you said, it's for all occasions. Yes, it's I perfect. love the coordination. <laughs> all right, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here on KTSM 9 News today.